What's up, folks? How's it going? This is Watch. Hope you guys are all doing well. And what you're looking at is quite possibly the most fastest portable SSD USB drive on the market right now. It's the WD Black P50 Game Drive. And as you can see from the rugged military esque aluminum forged casing of the drive, it's either designed for serious gamers or really anybody that wants to get the most performance out of their portable SSD drive. Now, inside the enclosure is an SN750 single sided solid state drive. It uses a SanDisk controller with a 64 layer 3D NAND flash memory. You also have a Skynex DRAM buffer. And most importantly, the interface is through USB 3.2. 2 gen 2x2 two two, giving it a total throughput capability of up to 20 gigabits a second or up to 2000 megabytes a second in terms of read and write performance. Now currently there's not a whole lot of devices that utilize USB 3.2 2x2 two two interface. Most of them are just a USB 3.2 gen 2 interface which will get you around 10 gigabits a second and uh, pretty much most of the hardware that I own operates at that kind of speed but hopefully more will be available in the future to utilize this kind of data throughput available on the drive. Now regarding compatibility, obviously this will work flawlessly on a PC or Mac as long as you have a USB type C or type A connection since it comes with those adapters. Regarding gaming consoles, however, this officially works with the Xbox One as well as the PS4 and 4 Pro. Now the drive also works with the new generation Xbox Series S, X, as well as the PlayStation 5. And in terms of storing the new generation games, you can back them up, but you can't play them directly directly off the drive. You can, however, play the old generation PS4 or Xbox One games directly from the drive onto the new generation consoles, which is cool. And perhaps more importantly, thanks to the fast data transfer speeds and high capacity storage options available on the drive, this is a great way to back up your old game library from the PlayStation 4 or Xbox One and transfer them over to the new generation consoles without having to spend hours and hours redownloading all your old games. Now, in terms of the storage capacity itself, you can get the drive in either 500 gigabyte, one terabyte, two terabyte, and just recently announced a four terabyte option for the drive, which is super awesome because you probably want to get the biggest drive possible in order to have the most flexibility for the future, especially these days when some games are going excess of 100 gigabytes just for their campaign alone. I know the new Call of Duty is about that much. And speaking of the new Call of Duty, Black Ops Cold War, there's actually a special edition version of this drive themed in that military-esque fashion which definitely makes sense you can also get some of the other western digital black ssd drives themed in the call of duty manner if you're interested check out the description down below for more details on that now in terms of the drive performance unfortunately i can't really utilize this drive to the full capacity because i don't actually have a pc or laptop that utilizes usb 3.2 2 by 2 interface that'll get you a data throughput of up to 20 gigabits a second and in order to really get two gigabytes a second in terms of read and write sequential speeds, you need to find yourself a laptop or PC that has a 2x2 USB-C interface or get yourself a USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 PCI Express adapter that will interface with the drive properly and get you the full uh, data speed and throughput. Now, funny enough, we are actually working on a brand new PC that will have that uh, 2 by 2 USB-C connection in board. So definitely make sure you're tuned to the channel. We'll give you guys a little update on what this drive is really capable of once that PC is done. However, I do want to demonstrate the performance of this drive in a more practical application. I'm going to transfer over the campaign mode of Doom Eternal on the Xbox Series X and transferring about 50 gigs of information took actually less than six minutes on the PC. 50 game drive versus on my two terabyte mechanical 7200 rpm a drive it took about nine minutes 50 seconds to do that same task so definitely a lot faster there furthermore in terms of transferring data back and forth between your windows based pc i transferred about 10 gigabytes of hd video files on uh, to the p50 drive and it only took about 20 seconds to complete that full transfer on uh, the my passport ssd drive it took about 26 seconds on a standard sandisk extreme edition USB 3.0 drive it took about 42 seconds and on a standard mechanical USB 3.0 drive it took about 48 seconds to complete so in pretty much most case scenarios thanks to the fact that the hardware inside the drive is so fast you are going to translate that into faster general transfer speeds and read and write performance uh, even if you don't have the fastest USB 3.0 interface available on your PC Mac or gaming console. 
But besides that, guys, that's really it. Big thanks to Western Digital for making this content possible. If you want to know more about the P50 game drive, check out the description down below. We're going to be doing some more tests on the drive once we get our hands on uh, the new PC that we're building. And make sure you have post notifications turned on so you get our new video once it becomes available. Thanks again for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you haven't done so already. And we'll see you real soon in the next one. Take care.